Desperate to leave the Russian occupation, they cycled and walked for hours under cover of darkness. Are you going to kill me, says this woman, suspicious, as the Ukrainian police register new arrivals. This was their fourth attempt to flee the Kherson region, where life had become unbearable, says Vladimir. The air is different here, he says. To stay there was more dangerous. We decided to take the risk. There were attempts for humanitarian corridors and people went to the meeting point with white flags. But the soldiers dispersed us and said, if you want a corridor, then go to Crimea. That's when people started finding other ways to reach the Ukrainian side. Olga Tsitsura shows us the warehouse where bikes, wheelchairs, prams and even wheelbarrows are held. People used whatever they had, she says. So the Russians are about three kilometers away from here. Those coming out of the Kherson region have to cross the lines alone in this no man's land between the two armies and hope not to get caught in the crossfire. It's a treacherous passage but it's the only escape route. Thank you, guys. We're waiting for you, he says. The army is holding its defensive position, but Ukraine claims the Russians are preparing for a major push here. And there is fear that the soldiers could be outgunned, while most of the Western weapons head to the Donbass region in the east of the country. We need heavy weapons, artillery, javelins, drones, because they have a lot of weapons. The Russians don't care about saving their soldiers' lives, and they advance like orcs. Hundreds of them lie in the fields. Nobody collects the bodies, but they have a lot of weapons. The villages along the contact line come under shelling. The rumble of artillery sounds at regular intervals. But it's the fear of an imminent annexation, just like what happened in Crimea and in Donbass eight years ago, that are pushing people to cross front lines on their own. Hod Abdelhamid, Al Jazeera in southern Ukraine.